okay reminding everyone to keep yourselves muted if i will call you you'll have to speak up okay let's proceed with our first exciting activity hello champions why do i call you champions that's because we're going to have a mini game an activity today a vocabulary game i'll call you randomly and you'll have to give me an answer or to define a specific word so for the first person who i will call will be shirley shirley what does this word mean buggy Get your buggy and be horse ready, Audrey, because you're off to New York. Get your buggy and be horse ready, Audrey, you're off to New York. Okay, Shirley, what is the answer? Here are the choices. Is it a car? A wheelbarrow? A carriage? Or a scooter? So definitely, you could go to New York using all four. Uh, uh, using any of the four, but what is the correct answer, which actually defines what a buggy is? Yes. You know what a buggy is, Shirley? You have an idea. Yes. We will use context clues for this. So what's your answer? I'll give you, by the way, seven seconds to answer. Okay, time is up. Your answer is carriage. Is it the right one? We'll see. Yes, a buggy is actually a carriage. So it's actually a two-wheeled carriage, which is actually which is designed for one seat. So one passenger carriage. Next is We'll have to call Lindsay. You're up. Please unmute yourself. What is a turnip? Are the turnips ready for our main dish tonight? Vegetables. Are they vegetables? Plates. Papers. Clothes. Well, definitely if you're going to write something during dinner, you really have to use papers. But what are turnips? I'll give you seven seconds to answer. Timer starts now, Lindsay. Okay, time's up. What's your answer? You're definitely going to get this right. Yes, root vegetables. Okay, so now let's proceed to our second activity. So the words we've learned previously, turnips, buggy, they are found in our reading activity from a book entitled Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery, which I will assign to you to read as an assignment. Okay, so let's start. We'll play this video, Anne of Green Gables. I want everyone to listen. If the audio's not working, please tell me. Anne of Green Gables, Chapter 1. Mrs. Lynde is Surprised. Mrs. Rachel Lynde lived on the main road in Avonlea, a town on Prince Edward Island off the coast of Canada. Anybody who was coming to or leaving Avonlea had to use the main road and pass by the Lynde's house. Mrs. Lynde was always watching from her kitchen window. Mrs. Lynde sat at her window one afternoon in early June. At half past three, Matthew Cuthbert was driving his buggy down the road. Buggy. He wore yes. his best That's suit. Buggy. Matthew should be planting turnip seeds now, like Mr. Lynde, thought Mrs. Lynde. But instead, he is in his buggy and dressed in his best suit. Where is Matthew Cuthbert going? And why? Why? Where is Matthew Cuthbert going? Armandina, where do you think is Matthew Cuthbert going? Okay, he's in his best suit. Uh, he's probably going to visit somebody important. 
Yes, probably. We'll see. Okay. And who is, by the way, Matthew Cuthbert? Helica. Who is Matthew Cuthbert? Yes, probably. What? Louder, please. It's probably Mrs. Lynn's neighbor. Yeah. Or maybe also a member of the people in the village. Yes, correct. Probably. We'll see. And what does Matthew usually do? It was mentioned that Matthew should be out planting turnips. But he's actually in his buggy now, going somewhere. So that was not very usual for Matthew to do. Okay, let's proceed with our reading. If it was any other man in Avonlea, Mrs. Lynn might be able to guess where he was going. But Matthew Cuthbert so rarely left home that it had to be something unusual. He was the shyest man alive and hated to go anywhere he might have to talk. I'll just go to Green Gables and ask his sister Marilla where he's gone. She... Okay, so Matthew was actually a very shy man. But it was very unlikely for him to go out and talk to people. What kind of man is Matthew? What kind of person is Matthew? What do you think, Nilla? Yes, Matthew is probably an introvert. Rarely talks to people. He likes being all kept by himself. All kept to himself. Yes. Okay. So now Miss Lynn is going to his sister Marilla. She decided. After hearing, Come in! From Marilla, Mrs. Lynn stepped into the kitchen. She looked carefully at everything on the table. There were three plates, so Marilla must have been expecting a visitor to come home with Matthew. But the dishes were everyday dishes, and the cake was plain, so the expected visitor could not be anybody too important. Good evening. Okay. What can we assume about Matthew and Marilla from the reading so far? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, I've called Lindsay twice. Shirley as well. Chaz. Okay, what can we assume about Matthew and Marilla from the reading? So there were three plates on the table, so they were expecting somebody else. Yes, Chaz. And Matthew and Marilla are brothers and sisters, are siblings, so if there's a third person, that means both of them. If there's a third visitor, that means there's only two of them living together. So that means they are what? Correct. Probably unmarried and they have no children. Okay, so let's proceed with our story. Very good, Chas. Evening, Rachel. Marilla greeted Mrs. Lind. This is a lovely evening, isn't it? Won't you sit down? How are you? Marilla was tall and thin. Even though she looked stern, she did have a sense of humor. We're well, said Mrs. Lind. Though I thought you weren't well when I saw Matthew in the buggy today. Marilla had expected Mrs. Lind to visit because Mrs. Lind was a curious person. Okay, 